Morning. Welcome back to my garage. Um, this is a, the t a two stage dust collector that I've built in the last few weeks. Uh, the dust collector itself is a one and a half horsepower Penn State Industries. The upper filter came with the lower bag, but the dust collector originally came with two one micron cloth bags. The upper filter, as, it, as you see it now, is a half micron win filter. It is not the nano. It is the cheaper uh, uh, 35A series, and it comes with uh, three plastic bags, which I am using for the bottom. I've used it quite a bit, and the bag has a light dusting on the inside, but not much else to show for it. Uh, the dust collector stayed in its packaging for roughly uh, four or five weeks as I was planning out the build of the bucket and the thine baffle. And it did not start off exactly as you see it. Um, I originally, as you see the hose right here, was uh, four, uh, four inches. And the, um, and the hose coming directly from the dust collector was four inches. And I used a reducer, which are those right there. And um, you can see the, ho the ho clear hose on the front is four inches, and the rear ho the hose behind it is the six inches. The dust collector comes with a six inch inlet, and I immediately use the reducer on the left as a four inch, a six inch to four inch reducer, severely cutting its suction power. And later I did the smart thing, and obviously more expensive thing, by replacing it with six inches. Uh, so it gets more power through the four inch hose, which is a uh, Rockler, Rockler, uh, one of those collapsible hoses. It's the uh, collapses to four feet and expands to 20, 21 feet. It's, it's a good hose. It, as you see at the bottom, it's, uh, it automatically retracts to its shorter length if you're not putting any kind of stretch on it. Um, Okay, let's uh, get a little closer look at what I've done. Sorry about that. First time using a tripod on a project and it's sticking to everything. Uh, okay. Here is the uh, six inch hose from the, directly from the motor to the top of the thine baffle. And it goes down to the thine baffle to a four inch Rockler hose. This hardboard is used to keep the hose from kinking as it tries to, the weight of the hose causes it to bend at an unnatural 90 degrees, which also kills suction. So what I need to do is use some hardboard to uh, extend the hose so it does not bend and cut the su suction by uh, drooping too sharply. The fine baffle and the bucket are projects from Marius on YouTube channel. I will uh, link to his videos on how to make these. These are inspired by somebody else. Uh, I don't really do the builds myself as I just build and show you the results and usually my projects are inspired by somebody else. Uh, as I said, this is now a six inch to six inch hose to the fine baffle. It does inc increase the power. The uh, drop ring down here is 240 degrees starting behind and um, it does a fairly good job of separating uh, like I said there was a very light dusting inside the bag not much to show for it so I could suck up pretty much anything uh, another thing I did is I got the Rockler dust right master system which gets you the uh, hard plastic tube with the floor sweep you get the connector with the handle, as you see, hanging hanging up there. And uh, you get a brush for cleaning off benches and whatnot. What I did on the side was, you see right there, I created a switched outlet. Um, I took an ex a cheap Harbor Freight 15 amp, uh, what is it, uh, 14 gauge ex 
extension cord, Harbor Freight, 20 bucks on sale at the time. Uh, bought a, a two gang box, connectors, a 20 amp outlet, 15 or 20 amp switch. Wired it up. The uh, wire from the motor to the wall on the from the dust collector itself is only a six inch, six foot cord. And the motor being as high as it is, that the extension cord coming from the motor is only four feet usable. Uh, so what I did was I created a switched outlet, cut a length off the end of the extension cord, made the switched outlet, and clip, turned the uh, power to the motor on, left the, and now use the switch on the outlet to turn the thing on and off. Uh, I think it's the most useful I have in the reach. I'm six foot four and I have no difficulty reaching the top of the motor even if the motor is a little above head height for me. But, you know, projects and things, things to do, make things easier. Switched outlet it is. So with no further ado, I have emptied the uh, can of what I've sucked up so far. And um, what I'm going to do is show the power of how it sucks. Well, let me just stay down here for now. Uh, I will suck up a portion of this just to show you the power of what goes through the hose. And then I'll stop and then train the tripod on the thine baffle itself. And you can see how well the thine baffle works. So let's get this started.
Okay, you see this little nook right here where the hose goes in? This actually causes a little turbulence and dust builds up right around here. And if you suck it too fast, dust will definitely build up right here. However, the suction is so great that it, as you can see, it cleaned it out. Uh, what I may or may not do is put a six inch PVC, get a little closer, closer to this e this edge because you can see it's it's kind of this four inch is kind of PVC is kind of a little further back. Put a six inch, put the reducer on there, and maybe use just four inch hose and see if I can maximize uh, vacuum strength. Well, this is my current project. Let me uh, show you what's in the bag. This is a lot more difficult. That, this is a little difficult to accept because, I, as you saw, I was sucking up a lot at one time. And this is all very fine dust. This is the only thing that bypassed the fine baffle. And I sucked up so much at, at one time that there shouldn't even be, if I used it in normal applications, there wouldn't even be one thirtieth of this in here right now. No big deal, I can just empty it out. It is what it is. So, uh, hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you have any questions, ask. I'll get, try to get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, thank you, and I'll try for a new video somewhat soon. Bye.